believe who showed up today. Okay, so Sutton, about two months ago, had to call, have what's called, I can't even say it right, a bronchoscope. So what they do is they go in and clean up her trach area because as it's healing, she can get granulomas, basically like scar tissue. So when we change her trach out, the whole piece inside, once a week we get resistance and so we have to push it, push it, push it. It hurts her. It can cause problems with her vocal quality. So she is getting another one today, which they've told us is kind of uncommon to need it this often. But Sutton's always been crazy rare. So she doesn't know. She has high anxiety with this stuff. Rightfully so. Kids endured a ton. So she's been talking about how she misses her elves tremendously. And dad emailed Santa to can they come? And oh my gosh. I got up this morning to check my calendar and I was like, yikes. Who is here? And it says that Dr. Sewell reached out to the elves so that they can come and left a $20 bill on Santa to go get a stuffed animal at the gift shop for some. So I have to go break the news to her. Not gonna film it, because my guess is it's gonna be an emotional disaster. But we're gonna take you guys along for the ride to see what Sutton kind of has to go through. There's also a good chance that they're going to put tubes in her ears because of tons of fluid today. So stay tuned and pray for me. Um, look at this. Can you believe that? Sutton, Dr. Sewell called and said he has to help you today. Can we come? Enjoy a new friend on Santa for being brave. Love, Sheldon. Can you believe that? That is crazy. See, is it gonna be okay? Yeah. All right, we gotta get this kid chocolate milk, his primary diet. <laughs> What is that? What is it? Chocolate milk? Out. Out? Okay. Does this help so much? I can't believe Santa and Dr. Sewell, they're the best. Yes. Hi, Hondo. All right, we're locked and loaded. Gonna take the two crazies. And two uh, grandmas, pick up Leah, and then we're heading to Omaha. Yeah, we're chilling. Sutton, how are you feeling? I'm scared. Mama. Scared, but good, because you've got... Mama. Yes. Mama. Here we go. What's her name? Flip. Flip? How about Flipita? Oh, okay. How about Flippa? Just Flip. I like her.
this? We got this for my grandma. We got this for great grandma Bernice for her knee surgery because you can microwave it and it smells relaxing. So we're gonna take her this rooster. She collects roosters. Isn't it cute? So cute. Clock, clock. Oh. Uh oh, someone's gonna scare you. <laughs> oh, no tears. No tears. How's Maddie? First we came downstairs, then we got snacks. He pulled me to get snacks. He got candy. And then I bet he went to go upstairs and get grandma and now he's coming back down with grandma. <sighs> now I bet we're going to go play in the toy room. Oh. Let's go, 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 Yep. Going into the playground. Just what I thought. Whoa. Going. We're very nervous. <laughs> this way, Peanut. This way. Should mom drive? You want mom to drive? Do you want to drive? So you going to drive on up there? Wrong way. You're right here. There's a lot in this room. You don't want this room, it's Coco Melon Room. Apple juice, Maddie says it's the best apple juice around. You like apple juice? She loves apple juice. That's so sweet. Let's see little monster. What's little monster doing? Hi, Bobby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Grandma's getting him quite the setup. There you go. Keep him on the table. Hi, Henderson. Yeah, I'll come home soon. Is that procedure now? Yep. Hi, Grandma. Hi. 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 Uh, yes. 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 I made yes. homemade yes. mac and cheese. Yeah, Leah and Grandma's. Yeah. I made homemade mac and cheese, but I kind of cooked the macaroni so it's like soft, not al dente. Yes. That way the texture is not quite so chewy for him. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And he, he gobbled it up. 
Dante. El Dante. You're a nerd. Well, that's what it's called. Well, yeah, but... Okay. Um, and then he ate Leah's... No, he didn't eat the fries. Son, like, made the fries. And he had, of course, had to top it off with his favorite. Okay. Uh, Sutton is wondering if you can take the kids home. Oh, yeah. Okay. You'll just have to tell me when you're okay. on your way and if I just meet you there. All right. Love you, nerd. Well, you're going to have to drop I me off. I just feel like that's such a weird... Try me. It looks good. She came back with another new friend. All right. You want me to take the cotton ball out of here? Uh -oh. Leah. You took her finger thing off? She ended up with tubes in her ears, and this, he was bugging her. See, it's got a little bit bloody, not too bad. Feels better. It's probably some of that drops left. Look how pretty you are after surgery. I'm not that pretty after surgery. Where's Sheldon? He, girl, he hasn't left your side. You have a whole entourage for surgery, sister. And... These are her vocal cords. Whoops, upside down. Yeah. And they're not coming completely closed. That's as strong as she can close them. Which says it is a little bit of paralysis. And this is her trachea, where her trach comes down. And that looked really good. She didn't have any really granulation tissue. It was pretty clean, so that's good. Okay, so how did they test your vocal cords? Do you remember? Up your nose? <laughs> they put a tube up your nose? It through your nose? And you were awake? And did it go down your throat? And you were awake? Oh, I would have been mad too. Is that when you got mad at Sewell? Oh so my gosh. What did you do? <laughs> Once the tube was down there, what happened? Did you have to talk with it in? And could you? You could? And they kept your trach in and everything. So what did you do when you got mad at him? Do you remember? Did you like say mean things, give him dirty faces or what? Well, that's okay. Crying's acceptable. Darn it. Well, I'm sorry they had to do that. Is that ear bugging you? You need some pressure on it? Does that feel better? Hmm. Well, that's a bummer. But you got another stuffy. How do you always end up with like five things when you leave here? So are you still mad at me or can we be friends again? Can I snuggle you tonight? Hey, I'm proud of you. I mean, overall, you handled it pretty good. Come on. Hmm. Get it. 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 sweating from feeding her. I had to pull over. A little suction cough. We're gonna wait to merge. Go team. Oh my gosh. Mom's got her day coming. Home sweet home. Finally. Exactly what this mama needs after a long day at the hospital is her baby snuggles. I missed you. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Do you see something on your head? Let me see. Can I get it? Mama, I have a doodle on my head. Where'd you go today? Mama. Did you have fun? Mama, nice. You play nice at Grandma's? No. I know. Alright, should we say good night? Good night. Have a good day. Good day. Let's do another day. Good day. See you another day. Um.